Okay, this person is mentally deranged. There's no other explanation. They're mentally deranged. I am so excited about this storage unit right now. Why? Not because it looks pretty, but because it has a very interesting backstory. It has been up for auction eight total times. We've only lived here for 12 months. So eight of the 12 months we've been here, this unit has been up for auction and we finally won it. Last month, it was almost $300. This month, we ended up winning it for $110. It looks so odd. I just can't wait to go see it. We have to drive 100 miles into Maryland to pick this thing up. So fingers crossed it's something good. They have to have been trying to save something. Let's go. But first we had to go by Wawa and of course get the morning cup of some kind of poison. Diet Dr. Yeah. Pepper. Yeah, Coke. You got Coke. What's wrong with you? Caffeine free though. But Coke. And I took my $30 winner from that embarrassing lottery ticket video and got another one. So wish me luck. Now you might be wondering why is it so significant that this unit's been up for auction for eight months? Well, let me try to quickly explain the lien process to you. When your unit goes up for auction, it means that you're three months behind on your payment. And you have one of three options. One, don't pay, you lose everything, it goes on. Two, make a partial payment, which means you save it from auction until the following month which is what these people usually do month after month after month. They keep saving it, anticipating they're gonna be able to pay it off the next month. So that's why you see units go up for auction so many multiple months in a row. Usually units like this end up finally getting paid off, which means they finally get taken off the site. But every now and then you get the ones that keep getting saved like this. And then at the end, they finally can't pay it and it goes off, which makes you wonder, what are they spending so much money on to save? Now this is a five by seven unit. I looked up on this company's website. They charge $91 a month for this plus you have to have insurance which is $13 so a bare minimum they paid $104 plus late fees so let's say at least 120 bucks eight times which is nearly it might be a grand I can't do the math on my head right now I only slept for two hours but nearly a thousand dollars to save whatever it is in these nine taped up boxes doesn't that make the mind wonder? It sure makes my mind wonder. So now that's why I'm so excited to see what's in this thing. Cause somebody spent a grand trying to save it. What? It could be dirty clothes. It could be gold bars. I don't know. We have to find out. Now we are at Flying J Travel Stop. And what'd you get me? I got the bag. What'd you get I got, me? I got this Genoa Salami Pepper Jack. Okay. Cheddar B6. So I okay. got you one Cheddar B6. All right. And then I also got you a three little baby bell cheese. Oh, you know me so well. <laughs> We've officially made it over the state border. We're now in Maryland and a little under half an hour away from the facility. The nerves are starting to kick in. Not so much that we are gonna lose $100, but just what can be in there? It's gotta be something, right? Hopefully, fingers crossed. There's some crazy people out there, but you know what? To be honest with you, I'd rather spend the $100, lose it, and know what was in there than spend the rest of my life wondering. So either which way, I'm getting satisfied today. We have finally made it to the facility. Let's make sure we can pay, and let's make sure we can get into this unit. Fingers crossed. The moment of truth, $110, 100 miles. Here we are at this little unit with nine boxes in it. What is it gonna be? Moldy food, dirty clues? clues, dirty <laughs> clothes. Is it gonna be gold bars, jewelry? I don't know, man, but you know what we're finding out today. The mystery of the last year ends now. Let's do it. So I put a post up on our community post, Facebook, and Instagram, and all you guys say it's all closed. If you're right and you jinx me, I'm coming to your house, I'm gonna burn it down. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> burn it down to the ground. <laughs> Oh man, you feel kind of right. But you know what? That's one. We don't know if that's what it is, and we don't know if there's anything else in there. So, let's see. The first box, okay, the first box is closed. That's not a good sign. But is it all closed? That's the question. Is it just one of these bags in there? Looks like it. Wow, it's just a bag of clothes. Let's go to number two, but think about it before I open it. Seriously, somebody spent eight months trying to save this. A hundred some dollars a month, almost a grand. They try to say this. If it's all closed, explain the logic to me, please. Usually, there's no logic in what storage uh, the previous owners heavy. do. No. If it's all closed again, I'm shaking it. Oh my God! We did not drive 100 miles for <laughs> somebody's nine boxes of somebody's clothes. Come on, open. Well, that is what we call. 
Another box of somebody's clothes. This is not looking very good for me right now. <laughs> Let's keep going. We still have hope. We're not even a third of the way through. We're not even a third of the way through. We only got two boxes in. All right, just because two of them are closed. Don't mean they all are. All right, what subscriber said close? What? <laughs> I said, which subscriber said close? Yeah, because I'm going to get you now. <laughs> it's on now between me and you. Well, go ahead and admit it in the comments. Oh, no. Is it clean clothes at least? I'm not smelling some stranger's clothes. Sorry. <laughs> I have my limits. <laughs> I'll open the boxes, but I'm not sniffing them. All right. I guess that's a fair limit. All right. Box number four. All right. That didn't sound like anything to me, other than clothes. Oh, would you look at that? Oh no, this one isn't clothes. This oh, one's bedding. bedding. Ooh. Woo. Like, oh my gosh, now, I wish it. What? I, I know we think clothes are boring, but at the same time, there might be some good clothes in there. Do you think there's a thousand dollars worth of no, used clothes? No, no, I don't think there's a thousand dollars, but just like the logic of other human beings. I wish I had a machine that can decipher what they're thinking and translate it to normal people, because I just don't get it. What's in this one? Oh, what a surprise. This one is all freaking clothes. This is legitimately about to be a unit full of nothing but clothes. Just gonna throw it over here. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Continue. Oh, come on. Open. Oh my God. I don't actually I don't see clothes in there. What is it? Nope, it's clothes. Another box of just clothes. Ugh. Over here. This is getting bad. <laughs> We're down to three now. Well, it's gonna be easy clean out. Yep. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? We have two boxes left. This does not look good. Well, you never get to in there. <laughs> no way. Close. Oh my god. Really? Really, world? Really, world? Not close. Okay, this person is mentally deranged. There's no other explanation. They're mentally deranged. They spent a thousand dollars to protect nine boxes of dirty clothes. You could have got an entire brand new wardrobe for half that from a store. This person's deranged. I don't have another explanation. Like, they're cuckoo. Can somebody else give me another explanation? I don't have one. They're absolutely cuckoo. You know what? I'm in a little bit of a better mood now. Remember how earlier I said I got that $30 ticket? Well, I was going to wait to scratch until later on, so I just scratched it and checked this out. Look at that, $50 down there, and then five times 30. We just won $200 on the ticket. <laughs> I just lost a hundred bucks on this storage unit basically, because we just took all the clothes by the homeless shelter and donated the entire content of the unit. I took two jerseys out, but other than that, it was, I mean, it was in good shape clothes, but nothing worth reselling. So we just figured, we well, you know it's the day before Thanksgiving, let's just go help a bunch of people out. But look at that, $200 lottery ticket, right before we even left this morning. What a crazy end to this day. We're going to go home and we're going to research this person because I think there's going to be an interesting story to this one. There almost has to be. So we have the name of this person. You know I like to look into their background. Usually they have like some type of criminal charge such as selling drugs, you know, something like that, assault, where they get put in jail and they lose their unit. This person takes the cake. They had the longest rap sheet I've ever seen. What was it total? Like 38, 39 charges, something like that since 2007. And that's what, 14 years. So it all started off with drug charges, not selling, just possession drug charges back then. And then they had the weirdest charges ever. Tons of trespassing, tons of urinating in public. Like I didn't even know that was a charge. That was just terrible, right? But then we get into, they had like a two year break. I guess maybe they're like, you know what, let's turn our life around. But then no, 2012 comes around and they get a robbery charge. So they're a great human being, very great. But that's not even where it gets bad. Those charges are bad, don't get me wrong, but you'll see. 2014 is when it gets bad. They have child abuse charges. Not one, not two, not three. Four separate charges from 2012 to 2019. They were all different child abuse charges. Now, is it the same person, multiple kids? I have no idea. I really don't, but that's just, that's, I don't, I don't know. When I said they're mentally deranged, I literally got in the car and I was like, that sounded mean, didn't it? I feel kind of bad about this. And I read their charge and I was like, no, if you're abusing a child, you're actually mentally deranged and you deserve to be locked up in prison for the rest of your life. So they're not getting anything back. Even the couple IDs, school cards we found, nope, they're going to the trash. I'm not returning them. They're not getting anything back. It was a crappy unit, crappy loss, but you know what? 
at least we know now it's not another month of wondering what's in that unit so i can't say i'm disappointed we have a lot of units going off today the day you're seeing this video so fingers crossed we get one two three maybe four i don't know as many as we can get don't forget to leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and until next time peace out